Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to use protocols or delegates in Swift to pass data from one view controller to the next, okay? So I've opened up an Xcode project. It's completely new. This is the view controller.swift, it's empty, and we're gonna do it in here, okay? So what we need to do is declare another view controller so that we can pass it. So I'm not gonna create another file, I'm just gonna declare it in here because it's gonna be so simple. And I'm just gonna paste, I'm gonna copy and paste our existing class, and then I'm just gonna call this view controller two. Okay, so now we have that, okay? Now what we need to do is declare a protocol. So we'll say protocol, if I could type correctly, protocol, and we'll say move, we'll say data delegate or something, right? Like it doesn't really matter what you call it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say function print this string, okay? It's gonna take in, take in a string as a parameter and then it's gonna be of type string, okay? Now, the thing is, this is really like a .h file if you've ever done any like C programming or C++ programming or Objective-C even. It's basically just declaring a set of instructions, right? Like it's a, it's a blueprint. It's like a class kind of, except for without implementation, okay? It's just saying, okay, if you use this, you have to implement this method. So what we're going to do is we're going to require that our view controller it adopts this protocol, therefore it adopts the methods because it has to conform to it. Put a comma here and then put paste in data delegate. And then what's gonna happen is we're gonna get an error when we try and compile it. Let me compile to the XR, not my phone. It's gonna say view controller does not conform to protocol data delegate. Do you wanna add protocol stubs? So if you've ever used like UI table view delegate, like if I say UI table view data source or delegate, UI table view delegate, I don't think there's any required methods in the delegate. Let's see. Let's just say data source, okay? So if I say UI table view data source and I try and compile that, it says, hey, it doesn't conform to protocol UI, UI table view data source. Do you wanna add protocol stubs? And then you hit fix and it puts you in the required methods, okay? So we're not gonna use that. I'm just telling you, I'm just saying this so that you can understand how the, this works. UI table view data source or collection view data source, those are protocols, okay? And the delegates and they have required functions. So if you go ahead and hit fix on ours, it's gonna implement print this string. So that should help you understand how protocols or what protocols really do and where they are in iOS programming if you've never seen them, because it's likely that you've used them if you've ever used a table view or a collection view like in my courses that are linked in the description. So what I'm gonna do in here is we're just gonna print the string, right? So now you're wondering, okay, but how does this have anything to do with getting data into another view controller? And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take data from our view controller too and pass it into our view controller, right? So the way we can do this is by setting a variable in our view controllers called variable and we'll say delegate and then we'll say it's of type data delegate, okay? And then we'll just explicitly, now we'll, we'll make it optional, okay? And then in our view did load, we won't put our view did load, but what we'll do is we will say, we will say, yeah, we'll put it in our view did load. Basically, we just want to say delegate dot, and then the function, right? So delegate dot print this string. And then now we can pass in a string. So move this to our first view controller, okay? But if you were to run this and push up that view controller, it's not really gonna work because because like this delegate, has, it's not associated with this view controller in any way. All we've done is declared it as that type. So we can associate it by saying in our view to load when we push it, let's go ahead and push it after two seconds. So we're gonna say perform and we'll select after delay, so this fourth one, and we'll say that the selector is hashtag or pound or whatever you wanna call it, self dot, and then, or you could even just say uh, advance, right? I'll, I'll just call the function advance, and then this is gonna be nil because we don't want any options, and then delay two seconds, okay? Now we have to declare this as an Objective-C function, so at Objective-C func advance, and then we will just say push view controller, right? So we'll say mm, present, we'll just present it, okay? And the view controller to present is gonna be view controller two, right? So we'll just declare it right within here. We'll say view controller two, animated true, completion nil. Okay, so after two seconds when we compile our app, it's gonna push our view controller two, and then delegate's gonna try and printing the string, okay? But if we were to compile this right now, which I'm doing right here, it's not really gonna work because again, this delegate object is not, is not associated with our view controller in any way yet, okay? We can easily associate it with our view controller, however, by just saying delegate dot 
or saying view controller two dot delegate dot self is equal to and then self. Okay. So what we'll do is we will take this out and we'll just say we'll just say VC and then what we'll do is put it in a variable. So we'll say let VC is equal to view controller two. And then now what we can do is we can just say VC dot delegate. And it's going to reach out to that protocol right there. And we're going to set it equal to self. So let me explain this because you're probably like, okay, hey, cool. You just showed me how to do it, but you didn't really explain it. Basically what's happening here is it's saying, okay, uh, let's take our view controller two that we just declared. Let's take the delegate, which is of type data delegate. And let's say that this view controller, if it adopts it, then we will run the methods called by the in this data delegate within this view controller and we'll run those methods and we will assume they're associated in this view controller okay because this this adopted it basically right so that's how it gets through i don't know another way to explain it but if you just like look at this code like and just play around with it enough you will understand it okay let's go ahead and recompile our application and see what happens and what i want to do is i want to give this view this view controller to a background color so that we can actually see it present so we'll say view dot background color See what the dot sign. I guess it does because it's black, but let's go ahead and recompile our app. And and here's the deal. You're gonna have to be creative. I don't know why you're wanting to learn how to pass between two view controllers, but all I'm showing you is how to do it. Okay. I assume that you have an under that you have an, a goal here and you want to get data from one view controller to the next. And I promise you, no matter what you're doing, protocol is gonna protocols are how you're gonna do it. Okay. So again, or at least temporarily right like you if you want to pass data to the view controller too all you'd have to do like we're literally doing it we're saying delegate is equal to self but you could say like you could declare a variable in here and be like uh okay move data here right and we can make this a string and we'll set it to just empty so that it's not optional and we don't want to unwrap it and we'll just say print okay move data here right and then i'll comment the delegate one out right and then basically what we want is data to go in there. So all you'd have to do is say VC dot, okay, move data here is equal to that. Okay. So that's how you'd pass data from the view controller one to the view controller two. But if you want to pass the data back to view controller one, then that's where the protocol comes in the delegate method. Right. And that's exactly what you do when you implement a UI table view delegate or something or data source. It's really just passing data from view controller to view controller. Okay. So, okay. So you'd have to put this print statement, like, in a selector after like two seconds or something, cause it's not gonna run straight in the view to load. You do something like view did up here, okay? And then you'd print, okay, move data here. And you naturally, you whenever you override a function, you wanna call super. So you'd say super .view did up here and we'll just pass an animated. But anyway, that doesn't matter. I'm just showing you how to pass data, okay? See, it says it printed somewhere. But anyway, I I think you understand what's going on here, okay? So I'm just gonna compile it one more time. Oh, oh, it printed it. It said ASDF, okay, whatever. Yeah, so it printed it. That's how you pass data between view controllers. And then if we recompile this application, let me just show you what happens when it calls this method. This is a really jumbled video, but I mean like, I'm sure the most of you are, who are here trying to learn this, understand what's going on and like, are like, okay, that's how you pass it with a delegate, right? And I don't really have to explain it too clearly. I just kind of got to expose you to the code and then you can kind of do what you want with it, right? That's the whole point. That's what I do when I watch tutorials, at least. Let me know if that's not how you learn. But you'll see right as it presents, it prints out that move this to our first view controller. And that's because we're calling this method after we set the delegate protocol and then it prints it in this function. Now, if you wanted to use it somewhere else, you would set a variable and you'd say something like, yo, what's goody? And then say string. And then you just say like, okay, well, how do we get it in there? And we just say, okay, self dot yo, what's goody is equal to string, right? So again, I assume you know what's going on here. If you have any understanding of Swift, you can probably follow along here, even if it is a little bit rambled. Let me know if you like the style of tutorial where it's just really quick and kind of jumbled and just off the top of my head, because I'm sure it works for some of you. I'm sure it's really annoying to some of you as well though. So just let me know your opinions. And uh, if you leave a dislike, please just let me know why. Don't just leave a dislike. Just please let me know why in the comment section. But yeah, I really appreciate your support. Leave a like and subscribe. And uh, go check out my vlog channel in the description. But yeah, I'll check you out. I'll see you guys next time.